Hey guys, good to see you. <laughs> We're inside A4 SDT, minimal UI, big results. Over a hundred algorithms for ASCII, bitmap, and mosaic, all in real time. I'll walk you through my workflow from pre-grade to export. Let's do it. Let's start with bitmap. This mode transforms your video into a digital halftone. The image is translated into pixel patterns using different algorithms. On the panel, you'll see several key controls. Dither style, this is where you choose the algorithm. Floyd Steinberg, Stuckey, JJN, Burks, Sierra, Atkinson, these spread error and give a more organic texture. Bayer, 2x2, 4x4, 8x8, cluster, or blue noise, these give more stable, graphic looking patterns. If you notice shimmering on motion, switch to Bayer or blue noise. Pixel scale controls the size of each cell or dot. Larger scale, more stylized. Smaller scale, more detail. You don't need to resize your video manually. A4 SDT automatically adapts the pattern to your native resolution. 1080p, 4K, etc. Color palettes. This isn't limited to black and white. You can use Game Boy, CGA, VIC-20, MSX, Pico 8, Grayscale, Sepia, or custom single dual tritone palettes. Apply to. This is where things get interesting. You can decide where the bitmap effect is applied. Choose full, highlights, midtones, or shadows. As you can see here, I'm showing you how you can combine the bitmap mode and the ASCII mode to create unique hybrid patterns. By using the apply to option, you can decide whether the effect is applied to full, highlights, midtones, or shadows. This makes it really intuitive. You can blend ASCII characters with Dietersberg patterns in different tonal ranges to achieve even more technical and unique effects. It's all about experimenting and letting yourself explore. That's how you'll end up creating your own custom patterns and visual styles. Now let's switch to ASCII. Just like bitmap and like 50 plus other effects in the app, this mode follows the same logic. Clear, minimal controls you can tweak by feel. Everything is designed so you can experiment and let the look lead you, what it does. ASCII converts luminance into characters. Dark areas pick denser glyphs, bright areas pick lighter ones, so your image becomes readable text. Key controls the essentials. Columns, effective resolution of the text, more columns equals more detail, fewer columns equals bolder, chunkier characters. For 1080p, 180 to 240 is a good start. For 4K, roughly double. Font size, balances legibility and density, adjust together with columns. Character set, choose the glyph ramp, simple gradients, blocks drawing, geometric, binary, numbers, braille style, etc. Dense ramps equals more detail, simple ramps equals cleaner read. Contrast, threshold, blur, prep the image before mapping to text. A tiny blur, one to two, plus a gentle contrast push usually locks characters in place and reduces shimmer. Color, palettes, same system as bitmap, grayscale, sepia, retro sets, Game Boy, CGA, MSX, Pico 8, or single dual tritone. You can also use source color to inherit hues from the footage so the letters match the original colors. Apply to, identical idea as bitmap, full, highlights, midtones, or shadows. Midtones is the safest starting point, faces and speculars stay clean. Shadows gives a techie matrix base without touching brights. Highlights adds character only to bright details reflections. Mosaic mode. Like bitmap and ASCII, the mosaic effect works with the same intuitive controls across the app. Easy to explore, no steep learning curve. What it does, turns your footage into blocky tiles, creating a pixelated grid look. Perfect for retro 8-bit vibes or modern stylized textures. Main controls. Blocks, heat your V, adjust detail. Big tiles equals chunky, small equals detailed. Shape, square, round, rectangle, or custom. Edge sharpness, crisp or soft tile edges. Palettes, grayscale, sepia, retro, Game Boy, Pico 8, or source colors. 
And that's it for today. We just went through Bitmap, Mosaic, and ASCII, three effects that show you the kind of creative power this app is built around. But honestly, these are just the beginning. The app comes with over 50 unique effects, each one designed to be intuitive, fun, and completely self-contained. You don't need any third-party software, no extra licenses, nothing complicated. Everything is ready right inside the app, so you can just open it up, start experimenting, and create. Remember, this is still a beta version, which means you're getting early access to features and tools before the full release. That also means your feedback and support are super important. If you'd like me to cover more of the effects, because trust me, there's a lot more to explore, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and let me know what you'd like to see next. And if you decide to grab the beta, I'd love for you to share your edits, post them, tag them, let the community see what you can do. Every time someone experiments with these tools, new possibilities come alive, and that's the whole point, giving you the freedom to create effects that feel unique and personal. So thanks for sticking around, keep exploring, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one.